hello well this is how our store looks when our e-commerce website or store looks when we when we um, run the Drupal and we don't install our demo store the demonstration store which makes us to import uh, products so in this case we didn't import any products this is, the, this is the, the way our store is looking because we did not import the products as we imported the other one in the other version uh, which looks like uh, this see it it has it already has all these products and we put this product uh, in one in my last uh, video we, we put in this product okay so but we don't have all these products in the other one and it doesn't look very polished so we will, we will try to make that one look polished because we find out that in the last uh, video we made I made find out that it is a bit complicated trying to uh, disable the products trying to hide them um, so that you can put your own products just copy your own product in it it's a bit uh, uh, difficult to, it's complicated to uh, hide the products it's, it's done I, I did it in that last one but you will find out that during that video we had to they, they had to be waiting for the database we had to go and adjust a lot of things which I didn't have the time to do there but I've done it now and uh, everything is okay there but um, to avoid you getting the, the complications we can use the ones the one this um, site that is, we didn't import the products so we can just start from uh, scratch we just have all the sample category sample category and then uh, and then we have uh, all products here you know so we we'll start now now we can see the face of this uh, website we, we, we would like to change the, uh, the logo at this in this first in this video and then we um, we change the theme to, just to change uh, the way it, it looks and feels so we, we jump into it now and uh, we go to um, appearance Well, our computer seems to be slow. Um, what we do, I'll just stop it now when it's gone to the other side, to the um, where I clicked. So we we'll continue again. So here we want to change our team and set it as default. Um, disable. This is the one that we want to enable. Come and skip that. So here we are, Commerce Kickstart Omega, set at default.
the team is now the default team. So we're, 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 we're there now. So the next thing we need to do will be to change the logo, our logo. We change the logo, we are here already, so we just we just do it. We go to settings. settings okay let me choose our logo so I'm up, upload, uploading from my PC Okay, so our configuration has been saved. So we have changed the logo, we have uploaded the logo, and then uh, we have changed the default theme of our, our e-commerce uh, store. So let's go back. Let's go back and look at how it looks now. So here we go. Hooray. So this is the, 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 the new the way our our site now looks. You can see the, these ones are different now from what they used to look like. And this uh, uh, our our new logo. So that's that's it for this video. It's just to change uh, the site look and feel and our our, our logo. So we will stop here for for now, and then the next video will be to uh, create uh, what we call product types, or product variation types, and organize our stores into categories, and then maybe set up some banners and the rest. So thank you for the watching, and hope you will watch the next. You watch, you see the, the take some time and watch the next video. Thanks for watching. God bless.